Yo guys, what's going on? It's Alo and today you guys are watching an insane 62 kill TDM using non-lethals. Leave a like down for that. But today I'm gonna be talking about Battlefield 1 and a few other things. Now I know I'm late to my review on Battlefield 1. I have been busy. It was my sister's birthday last weekend. It's gonna be my birthday this weekend. So I've been super super busy. I haven't been able to sit down and make a commentary or whatever. But I'm gonna give you guys my review on Battlefield 1. And I'm sorry that it's late and everything like that. But I really liked Battlefield 1. It was pretty good. I didn't like the map that they chose to give us. It was only one map that was bad. It's the biggest map in the game. Did not like that. Uh, rush on that map is god awful if you're attacking because all they do is just sit back with snipers. Snipers are OP and dominant in Battlefield 1, at least in the beta it was, but hopefully they changed some things. The spotting in the game was bad. It didn't work at all. The medic was kind of broken, which is sad which, because I like using the medic. I like reviving and everything like that. I'm a team player and that's what I like. So that kind of sucked. The tanks, oh my god, the tanks were so OP. They need to change that. Make it so that either there's an easier way to take them out or they don't have that much health. I was in a lobby. This guy was in a one man tank and he went like 50 something to 8 in the tank the whole time. That makes no sense, man. You gotta be able so that the foot soldiers like me, the infantry, can go in and have some fun because it's not fun where it's a one shot tank and shoot you, bang, you're dead. That's it. Another thing they need to fix is the mini map. The mini map is basically useless. When people shoot, unsuppressed weapons they don't even show up so i don't understand the point of the mini map and battlefield 4 the mini map actually show people who are unsuppressed most games if you shoot a gun unsuppressed you will be popped up on the mini map but in battlefield 1 it didn't seem to work so i don't know i don't know what's wrong with that and the last thing that i could say was a con for battlefield 1 was that the horses please fix the range on the horse they have way too much range they kill you like half across the map i know i'm exaggerating but they really do have too much range and it really needs to get fixed. But all in all, the game was pretty good. The beta was fun. The game is going to be good. I hope, hope, hope it's really good. I love Battlefield 4. That's my favorite. The beta was good. I'm going to get the game the next month. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Hopefully, you guys have fun with that too. Which brings me to my next point, which is the Wolf Squad. Now, some of you guys play Battlefield. Some of you guys don't. I understand that. But for the guys and gals who do play Battlefield... Why don't we just squad up? Let's get the wolf squad going. Go play some conquest, some domination, some rush, some TDM, whatever. Go in as a squad and go win some games, have some fun. That's what I want to do. I want to squad up with people and have fun because playing Battlefield by yourself is kind of hard. That's need to win games. So it's more fun when you have people in your party and you go out and you go play and you're calling out things like, oh, go plant A. Go capture B, you know, stuff like that. That's fun to me. So let's get the Wolf Squad going. Hopefully you guys want to go play Battlefield 1 with me. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is, should I do a Battlefield 1 Road to Commander? Now, I'm doing a Road to Battlefield 1 with Battlefield 4, playing it on the PS4. And I'm having a lot of fun with that. I enjoy playing Battlefield 4. And I kind of wish I would have gotten into Battlefield 4 a lot earlier and did a Road to Commander. But I was thinking, should I do it for Battlefield 1? Now, you're going to see me take L's, you're gonna see me go negative, you're gonna see me just die over and over again because I'm not the best at Battlefield but I enjoy the game a lot and the only way you can learn how to get better at a game is if you lose, if you get beat. If a good player outplays you, learn so that the next time he can outplay you and that's what I want to do. So if I do the Road of Commander, it's gonna be every game, even the games where I get slapped, the games where I go negative, the games where I can't even get a kill, those games. So. If you guys want to see that, leave a like, let me know. I would love to do a Road to Commander. I think it would be fun. It's going to be very long and it will give a lot of Battlefield 1 content because it takes a long time to get to Commander. I'm not even Commander on Xbox or PS4 and I played a lot of Battlefield. I'm like level 50 on Xbox 360 and on PS4 I think I'm like level 30, level 40. So yeah, it takes a long time to do it and if you guys want to see it, I will definitely, definitely, definitely do it. If I do the Roller Commander and I want to play Battlefield 1 for fun, I will probably live stream it and then I will upload the live stream to YouTube but the quality will be a lot lower because the Twitch VODs aren't the best. So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, we'll point that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, Battlefield 1 hype baby, and I'll tell you next time, peace!